the heart has four valves, aortic, mitral, pulmonary, and tricuspid. Heart valves open and close to allow blood to flow in only one direction. So valves, uh, they can either become narrowed, which means they obstruct the flow of blood, or become leaky and the blood leaks backwards into the heart. In both cases, uh, that means that there is additional strain or stress placed on the heart muscle and in the long term may cause problems if the uh, valve narrowing or the leakage is severe. So most commonly, uh, uh, we see a few uh, uh, diseases and it depends on which valve uh, that it is uh, involved. So for the uh, human body, the left-sided valves are more commonly involved and it is either the uh, aortic uh, valve or the mitral valve. For the aortic valve, and this is the valve that leads the blood out of the heart to the rest of the body, the common uh, condition that affects this valve is uh, aortic stenosis or the valve, which means that the valve becomes narrow. And the commonest cause in our population nowadays is just because as we get older, the valve becomes uh, calcified and uh, degenerated with age and this causes the valve to become narrow and uh, unable to open fully as it should. So this is uh, the common one that affects the aortic valve uh, and, and becomes narrow. There is also a group of patients who are born with uh, what we call a bicuspid aortic valve which means the valve has only two leaflets instead of three and in these patients the valve uh, gets degenerated more quickly than expected and so their valve becomes narrower than expected about 10 to 15 years before the general population does. For the uh, mitral valve, the commoner cause that we see now uh, that causes uh, the leakage of the mitral valve. Narrowing of the mitral valve is actually uncommon nowadays and the most common cause of leakage of the mitral valve is due to uh, what we call a floppy mitral valve or in medical terms we call a mitral valve prolapse and some of these patients, the prolapse, most of them stay the same but in a small minority, they get worse and the valve becomes sneaky and if it becomes severe, then the valve needs to be repaired or replaced. So the valve, when a valve becomes narrowed or leaky, it is a mechanical problem and therefore the only definitive way is to treat it by a repair or replacement. There are drugs that we can use to reduce the symptoms, which is to make the patients feel better, but they don't change or they don't improve uh, the function of the valve. So for example, if the way to look at it is to imagine that the tap is leaky. Nothing you can do will make the tap uh, better again unless you change the whole uh, system. So the tap will always leak and all we can do is try to reduce the flooding in that system. So for the same thing for the valve, we can give medicines to help the patient feel better but we cannot do anything to change the function of the valve. And whether the valve is the aortic valve or the mitral valve, the only way is to get it repaired or replaced. To recap, the human heart has four valves that allow blood to flow in one direction. Faulty heart valves can cause blood to flow backwards into the heart through a process known as regurgitation. Narrowed and hardened heart valves obstruct blood flow. Such valve conditions can lead to heart failure if left untreated. Symptoms of heart valve problems include fatigue, shortness of breath, chest discomfort, and fainting spells. Valve problems can be treated with medication, and severely damaged valves can be repaired or replaced via surgery.